Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of Russian Fishing 4. We are once again at Balia or Balea River. Uh, today is our second day uh, here and it's been raining guys. It's been terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around, see how it goes. Uh, I might come here another day because it's going to be raining for the next two days. Uh, right now we have a nice clear sky. Well, not a nice. Oh, yeah, a nice clear sky uh, Rain can move in any minute. I don't know when uh, So let's see how it goes uh, as soon as I came here. I caught two fish in the rain uh, Which is why I actually stayed if I hadn't gotten any fish. I would have moved by now uh, So let's see how it goes here We are going to put this down, lock it. Oh wow, already. Okay, okay, okay. Hot damn. Wow. As soon as I threw it, it just went for it. Ooh, what could this be? A two kilo trout perhaps? <laughs> now I'm excited. Now I'm happy. Yes, come to Papa. Uh-huh. Let's zoom in. Where is this guy? He's not far and he's running around here and there. He's not like carps that love swimming to the other side of the world. Did I lose him? No. Okay, we have a 350 meter line. I'm not worried. So, hopefully it's a 2 kilogram carp. I mean, sorry, not carp. <laughs> Salmon. Oh, we need a fluorocarbon uh, leader as well, guys. It's sold out here, so unfortunately I'm going to have to uh, go to Mosquito or Rivulet and buy it from there. Oh, wow. This is definitely a 2 kilogram or more. So he's running? Damn. We definitely need a better rod and reel. Uh, but then it's the question of what do I do? Should I save it for the feeder rod or should I upgrade my spinner? Because right now people are saying uh, Kura is very good for making money. That's why it's so expensive. But I obviously need two good uh, spinner setups. And there is no point if I'm going to do what I'm doing right now all day at Kurai. Uh, because just reeling in one fish takes so long, it's just not feasible to make money. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes. I'm probably going to go there with my bare bone setup and seeing how it goes. But I definitely want to give this river a good try before I do that. Okay, three fourths of our line is gone. I mean, a quarter of our line is gone. It might have given up. It might be weakening right now. Let's see how it goes. That was just an instant hit. I threw it in and I'm like, yeah, no, nothing's gonna touch this for a while. Um, I just hope it does not cut our line. Um, usually pikes do that. So we don't have a pike on it because we obviously know how pikes go. Uh, but yeah, now I'm worried. I'm like, yeah, the biggest fish I've caught is like, what? The 1.2 kilo salmon. That's nothing. That's, that's nothing. We don't need a leader for that. Uh, but now that, you know, I think I might've caught something of two kilogram or more. Now I'm thinking, okay, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to lose a big fish now. <laughs> oh, I think it's given up. Yes. Yes. I can't wait, guys. I'm so happy. It stopped raining and... Oh, yes. 
So the salmon do bite in the rain, I'm assuming. Uh, because I keep calling them salmon. Trout. That trout do still bite in the rain. Which is great, but uh, no one likes this river again, I'm assuming, because you just don't make a lot of money here. Because the fish aren't constant. Uh, let's see. Uh, this fish has given up. Still on the line. That's great. And let's see how many kg this is. Oh, wow. Look at how far it went. Good thing we have a 350 meter line. Uh, let's zoom in. Still too far. How do you double zoom in? I don't know how to do that. Still can't see it. I don't want to raise my rod. I'm worried I might lose the fish. On the water. On the water. It has to be salmon. Is that a salmon? I mean, oh, god damn it, trout. Yeah, it doesn't look too big. Oh, I really hope it's a 2kg one. And 1.88 trout. <laughs> 4,000 points, guys. I am super happy with that. Wow. Yes. Yes. Come to Papa. Wow. 100% happy with that. Um, a three killer trout, I believe, is a trophy trout. So. Okay, let's put this down. I want to check these rods here. Nothing, eh? Hmm. I'm using night crawlers on these guys. Night crawlers because if I go to the weeklies, uh, I want to catch this fish here. Uh, I keep forgetting it's Sterlet. Yes, that's the name. Uh, Sterlet. Okay, they've been using night crawlers. I don't have. Cockshaffer larva. I do not have a cockshaffer. Uh, so for now, I'm just using Nightcrawler. They are in this river, so I want to try and get that. I have this pole here too. I'm trying different locations because I have no idea where I should be throwing these. Unfortunately, nothing's going after these. Uh, I don't have leaders as well in case the trout go for it. Uh, in the weeklies, no one's caught a big trout with bottom setup uh let's see once again brown trout brown trout so balea river right uh, it's all spoons and thinners and all this stuff there is no bottom so uh we can throw it back there and get the small fish but i don't want to do that i want to go for something that's meaningful Let's go ahead, reel this in. Let's hope for something good. I'm gonna let it slide for now. There we go. Let's see what we can get. Oh, wow. I'm not even using, uh, I'm using the key light. I completely forgot to change it out. So there you go. Now I'm worried that if we get a fish, I'm gonna rip our aquila off. I don't want to lose this because it's a 34 silver bait. Uh, but obviously it's out of stock here, so. Alright, I'll return if I get a bite. Guys, we have another fish. And it's close by. Oh my god, we already got it. Oh, it's a chub. What? Oh, it's an asp. Nice. Okay. I got a hit on this rod. In a very long time. Let's see what this is. <laughs> I really hope it's not a perch because... Uh... Yeah, I've been here like 45 minutes and I've only caught 9 fish. So it's terrible. Ah. Uh... But that two kilogram, that two kilogram uh, trout didn't add us something. I really hope so. 
Maybe there's a 53 silver order. Ooh, it's something. Is that a bream? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Perch or small brain. Let's see. Night crawlers too. I'm going for Sterlet right now in this three meter hole. Wow, it is so small, I can't even see it. My worm's bigger. A nice. Nice, that's a first, guys. I mean, it's unfortunate our first fist is absolutely worthless, but pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Let's throw it over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this. Hmm. We got something small. Tiny trout probably. Oh, that looks like a perch. Ah, damn. Oh boy. I just moved to the top of the island and we instantly got a hit. Get at the top. Come on. You can do it. Yes. That was quick. Oh, two kilo chub. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's see how this goes. Uh, the problem here is I think all the pikes are here. So we might get our line chopped off. And another one. Wow. Spot is active. But it's all chubs. I want trout. That was a quick chub though. Now at speed 10, it's continuous. No stopping or anything like that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's the perch. Oh, you saw that. You guys saw that. It was following it. It's a marker. It's a nice sized perch. I'm sure that's one or two silver. Let's see here, let's see, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, it's night time again, I need to move all of my bottom feeders to the spot for Bream. Okay, I'm going to just throw this out. And I'm going to Place this here. I'm gonna get my rest of the gear and I will be back shortly. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I unfortunately had to log out for some time, uh, so I could not fish in the evening. Uh, but it's okay, it's an early morning right now. Today is the last day it's gonna rain, and then it will be cloudy onwards, so I'm hoping to have better luck and more fish. We definitely need to get a night of good bream in so that uh, we can make some money because right now we're not doing well. I still have a 16 fish. Uh, so 20 minutes ago uh, we can say approximately I left. Uh, so a bit, we fished for about an hour. This is all I've got. I don't even have any markers.
Oh my god, it's only this much. Have the Fisher marker, so I guess that's something. Uh, we have one Bream, that's a marker. Chub, uh, 2 kilogram Chub. This 1.88 kilo trout is going to bring us good, good money. Hopefully there is a cafe order that will net us a whole lot of money. Let's hope, uh, oh, oh, I think my bottom feeder might be getting something. And we also, oh yes, there's something on it. Oh, come on. Okay, let's, let's bring this in first. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, baby. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's open the line. Let it go a little bit. Lock it up. Okay, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Oh, okay. My friction brake uh, reset it, so I was like, hmm. We, we have something big, but uh, it's a decent size. It is a decent size. I really hope it's a bream, guys. Yes, yes. I'm gonna stay at this spot. Oh my god, that is a nice bream. Uh, we're supposed to cast south, clip 20. Since we have a lot of weight on, it goes far. Yep. And there we go. The tiny fish. Oh, we shouldn't raise the rod so early. And here's another bring. Yes, it's a small one. It's not a marker. It's okay. I'm happy we're getting something, right? Uh, let's see if there's anything on this guy here. Nope. I will put this down and let's go back to our spinner and see what we have. Let me come up and let's let this Let this float away. Okay, let's start reeling it in and let's hope we get something big. Oh yes, something big. We already have two bream and we have another fish. Oh yes, oh it looks like. Oh it's a chub, I'll take it. As long as we keep getting fish like this, I'm happy, you know, it, it keeps you busy and you know that, yeah, I'll, I'm slowly making money as well. I'm not just wasting my time here. So, um, there is sterlet. Apparently that's very rare. Uh, there's another type of fish. Uh, uh, let's see here. We need to catch a burbit here for sure. Cause people are saying you can get burbit good ones. Uh, grayling we've caught, grayling, nace, I think I've caught that at Rivulet actually. Uh, Sterlet is what we want, and a Taman. I don't, we got a Xander I believe, but Sterlet, and I think we have a Taman as well. Oh, we got a fish. Oh no, it's a perch. Hmm. It's a marker, whatevs. So since it's daytime, our bottom rods aren't giving us much. I don't like how the rod just derps out when you pick it up. <laughs> Let's hope we get another bite. Something big, please. Something, something, something big. So you guys already know from the previous video. Uh, oh, we got a fish. Oh no, wait, that's putting it down. Uh, so when we were here, I was casting, were we here or were we here somewhere? We're casting this way 
and non-stop roach and small carps so if you're very low level you can always get that wow no no trout at all in this spot that's uh disappointing there's supposed to be a lot of i believe graylings and trouts in this spot so it is raining and oh yes you know what i keep forgetting guys let's once again go to town and see if we can buy that fluorocarbon 5.4 kilo liter apparently that's supposed to increase the amount of fish we get because it's harder to see uh not this everything's freaking sold out here which is a joke i hate this ah okay uh what did we want uh these are lines accessories uh leaders fluorocarbon fluorocarbon sp what does sp mean we want a 5.4 kilo uh 6.4 kilo yeah 5.4 to 6.4 you know what i'm gonna buy the 3.1 mm, i just don't want to waste money willy-nilly uh fluorocarbon any fluorocarbon Carbon, carbon, steel. Oh, come on. Uh, not the feeders. 6.4 is what we need, guys. Ah! Okay, uh, guys, once I get another fish, I will record again. Okay, guys, it is now nighttime. Um, I've been getting small fish. Nothing big so far. Ah, this river, honestly, guys, it's... It's a mixed bag. Sometimes it's really active and most of the time it's not. And I'm fishing for frogs. Yes, guys, it's so weird, <laughs> but I am trying. Um, I've been wanting to catch a frog for a very long time, but I just never got a chance until now. And I have changed plans. Uh, originally, guys, I said, I will be going to Bear Lake, I'm going to buy a $3,000 setup and we are going to hammer all the fish. But unfortunately I need to be level 20 for that and that's going to take a long time. So here is the new plan. Let me just throw this out. Let me check out on my other rod here. Nothing. Wow, sad. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to uh, Kurai. Uh, I know it's 26 silver, uh, but I am going to make some more money. I'm going to spend another day or two here. I really want to give this river a try. And then I'm going to spend some money on another spinner setup, a good one. So that uh, when we go to Kurai and we do trolling, we just keep reeling in the fish and we don't have to fight, you know, like 10 minutes for a fish. And that's what one person at least has said and that's what glock blocked has told me that he stayed at kurai till he was level 23 oh wow our thing is gone oh no we missed it damn it right so that's where he made his experience because that's what we need um money i think is easy to come by as long as our hotspot like the bream hotspot is still there uh, but gaining levels is very slow and so far, this river has been the best for leveling up. Like, look, I just turned level 17 yesterday in, in you know, real time. I logged in today. I fished a little bit here. And, like, we are already almost halfway through level 17. Uh, so, as Glock, Glock said, uh, I think I'm going to take his advice and go to Kurai. And apparently, there's I, I think there's a lot of different types of fish big fish and uh, that's why it's so expensive to go there that's what we're gonna do i think next episode what i'll do is uh go trolling and try out kurai uh, but for this episode i want to give it my 100 percent on this river and i will do my best guys pray for me 
that uh, in this video, the next segment <laughs> it cuts to is me catching the biggest trout ever, at least a three kilo trout. So I'm going to fish for the next few hours in real time. Guys, uh, I got something. Hopefully a bream, hopefully a white bream. Please be a white bream. Definitely fighting back. I'm gonna just increase the friction and reel it in. I think bringing it from the deep end to up is what's taking my, what's taking more friction. So I'll reduce the friction and we will just bring this fish over the rocks and it is a bream, a big one, probably a one kilo. <gasps> 2.9 kilos. That's what I'm talking about guys. That's like five or six. Oh, look at our rod spinning like a helicopter. Um, yeah, there you go. Helicopter bream. Um, yeah, totally worth it. 1400 XP guys. Uh, the issue is the entire night. I just caught one. That's pathetic. Oh, I have something on this too. Uh-huh. Maybe an eyed? Did not fight this at all. Let's go. Oh my god, it is so tiny. It's a tiny bream. It's like a 20... Oh, one, 191. I was going to say it's a 20 gram bream. So, we need to keep out an eye for this. This is absolutely useless. I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm going to let it drift for a little bit and then see what happens. And once it does its one full revolution tilt there, I'm going to start spin fishing again. Okie dokie. Oh man. I've not caught much at all. Um, only small fish. And finally we have something. It's only this spot right here. That gives me anything. So let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh wow. My friction is way down. It's right here too. Yes, yes, yes. We got it. We got it. Oh wow. It's not a trout. It says Xander. A grayling. Hot damn. Look at that. 3000 XP. Wow. Wow. There you go. Uh, G. Can we press G? No. So what I'm doing is. I throw it down there. And then I just go up here and basically I just I'm just reeling it in longer so the longer time it stays in the water it you know it's spinning towards you the higher the chance of getting a fish because I don't cast very far unfortunately um, that's what I'm doing and boom once again we caught another fish it's a small one but I will take it uh, we have 44 fish now I've been fishing for like what two and a half, three hours now, probably. And it's a tiny trout, brown trout. So I'm gonna throw it once again over there. Okay, and then we're gonna run over here. Okay, I can't run anymore because of the stupid uh, bush. If I wanted, I could have just gone around that bush, but this is far enough, I think. And I just keep reeling it in and there you go. And it's really weird. Like right now it's active, but after I catch like four or three or four fish, it'll die out and I won't get another fish. And I'll have to move the spot and I won't get another fish at all again. 127 gram trout. Let me try that again. I will be right back. Oh, damn. Oh, this is our weaker rod, so. Okay, could this be a bream? I brought my feeder rods down here with me uh, to the north end. I believe this is the north. Yeah, it's the north end. So let's see what we caught. Not much action on these feeder rods here, but... Oh, is that a bream? What is that? Yes, that is a bream. And it looks like a one kilo plus. Yes, 1.5. Heck yeah. I think I threw it all the way over there. 
I don't remember anymore. Oh, there's a... There's the clip on this too that I forgot to take off. Okie dokie, I will be right back. And just instantly like that, I cast it in and I get the fish. Throwing in the exact same spot. And yeah, this is an active spot right now. What am I using? Let me just quickly show you guys. I'm using this, spiker number 218. And our bottom feeders have something on them. That's great. Ooh, it looks like something good sized. Oh no, it's not. And there's a tiny fish. Is it a trout? Yep, it's a trout. Uh, let's cast this out here. Let's go over here. Lock this up and see what this is. Could it be sterling? Please. But sterling don't go on garlic dough. Um, apparently there's also breams and white breams on this end somewhere. So I'm just casting it different places, experimenting, seeing where the fish are at basically. So we know right behind us are like an unlimited supply of marker roaches. Um, if that's your thing, <laughs> you know where to go now. Uh, they're not worth the time. Honestly, guys, after seeing that bream, that 1.2 kilo bream brought us 1600 XP. We might as well just go back to Old Berg and try to farm them again. This is going to be 1.2 bream. Oh, this is 600 XP. Hmm. Uh, but this is going to bring us good money too. And this guy was right over there. Right by that rock. Perfect. Place this down first and do that. Let's go over to our spinner. Okay. Let's see what we get now. Since I'm recording, I'm not going to catch a fish. It knows it. <laughs> the fish know it. Yeah, so I can see why no one likes this place because there is no hot spot here. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty bare bone over here. I would like a three kilogram uh, trout. I think that's my goal for this place. Sterling, people said it's extremely rare, so you, you might catch one per hour. I'm definitely not going to get that. So I think my only goal here will be to catch a three kilogram trout. Uh, which will uh, take some time because I haven't caught a single decent sized trout so far. But guys, I will be right back once again. Okay guys, uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a, a muscle. <gasps> a 105 gram muscle. Ooh. And I am back guys. I was just buying my rod and uh, reel and line setup for tomorrow. Uh, for the next episode which is going to be Kurai. Because we are going to try uh, trolling. And Kurai is 25 or almost 26 silver to enter in. But it is a good fishing like I mentioned before. Good to level and to make money so... We are going to try that next. I've spent two days here on Balea. I've given it my everything. And the biggest trout we've caught so far is a 1.88 kilogram trout. And at the end of this episode, I will go ahead and sell all of my fish. If you can look to your right side, I have 61 of 100 fish, but I have been fishing for, I believe, three hours now. Uh, so that is absolute atrocious amount. Not to mention majority of the fish are worthless. Uh, but I'm, I, I just, I wasn't going to give up so easily. No, I never wanted to have that regret of, oh man, I, wanna, I, I should have spent more time there. Maybe next time we can go back there. Uh, but, uh, as I said, my goal was to catch a three kilogram trout, which we did not get so far. Maybe in the next few minutes I might get it. I don't know. Uh, if we don't get it, then perhaps in the future, I will definitely come back here and try again. It's a very nice bream here. 2.6, wow, look at that XP. 
That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm so happy. We are almost through 17, level 17. And for the past so many days, I was just stuck on level 16. So, <clears throat> really happy we have moved so fast. But unfortunately, level... Oh no, what? Oh no, the fish got away. How? How? I wasn't even shifting. I wasn't doing this either. Oh man, that's sad. It's okay. Let's just line this in. I will be back shortly. Both the minor odds are going nuts so right now. Which is good because I think we have Bream probably. I'm gonna take on my third rod and try for Burbit. Hopefully. Uh, the only issue is we cast so far out that it takes a million years to bring it in. And it takes away so much of our food. Because it takes so much more energy to reel it in. We still have the fish. It didn't get away which is great. Oh, uh, let's come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna change this rod for two fish pieces. Because this is our biggest rod. If we get if we get a burbit, it will take us a second to reel it in. Oh yes. Or maybe we will just leave this as is. No, no, I can't. I have to go for burbit. Burb. Holy cow. Look at that. Fish piece. Oh, what's our Okay. Okay, let's uh, go with this. I can't even see that rock. Where is that rock? It's over there? I think that's where we need to cast. That's how we get a bird bit here. Um, a nice sized one. That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing how the first time I ever tried for bird bit proper Lee tried for burbit. I got a 5.55 kilo burbit, which is a huge fish uh, for for that species. A white bream, 223 grams. Uh, where is it? It's over there. Okay, our third rod. We are going to put uh, garlic dough. Perfect. And we are going to remove the clip here. All. Gonna cast for this. And we are going to wait in the darkness. Okay. I guess I got a really big bream. Wow. Still have the fish. Come on, don't play around with me. Oh, it could be... No, it's not. <laughs> Catfish love to uh, sit at the ground and not move at all. But this does not look like a catfish. Uh, this is strictly a bream spot. I haven't caught anything else, so... It should be a good-sized bream. Uh... I mean, if it's an 800 gram white beam, oh, we are going to make so much money because we can fill up a cafe order. I believe they want a 400 gram uh, white beam, I believe. And we only have like a 228 or 288 gram, so not there yet. And it is, it has surfaced, I believe, yes. We can right click and reel it in. Only when it's at surface, it's safe to uh, pull your rod up and reel it in. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yes. It is a big bream. Uh, three kilos. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Yes. 3.1 kilo bream. Heck, yes. Our biggest bream yet. Oh yeah, so this spot, uh, you don't get fish, 
constantly. Uh, but the quality of fish with the feeder rods on garlic is really good. Um, if you look at the uh, net uh, bream here by weight, look at that 3 kilo, 2.9 kilo, 2.6 kilo, 2.6 kilo. So, yes. Let's look at our rod here. Nothing so far. Let's slowly. Let's look where we where we are pulling from. Come on, fish, please. Please, one one big one. Come on, just a three kilogram trout. Not much to ask. The biggest trouts have been around, I think, twenty kilos. The three shouldn't shouldn't be a tall order. Oh, come on. <laughs> and nothing. Finally, something of a decent size on my spinner. What could this be? Could this be a two kilogram carp? I mean, damn it, a trout. Maybe the three kilogram trout? Please fulfill our dreams. Please. Come on. Oh, damn it. Wow, this guy. I think this might be a really big fish. Okay. I'm liking this. Oh, it's too bad the bloody reel is out of stock or we would have had a perfect, perfect spin fishing rod. Uh, I've already bought two parts. I have everything except for uh, the reel, which is out of stock here. If they had it in stock, we would have been fishing with that and we'd have, we would have reeled in this guy in like that in one second. You, you hear that? That? Yes, exactly. Uh, but instead, we are using this rod, this setup here, which is a very weak setup. Uh, so let's hope it's a doesn't look like a three kilogram trout. Uh, the other, the one point eight eight kilogram trout. Oh man, it fought so much. Let's just go ahead with the journey and see. We have sixty seven of a hundred fish, guys. I've been fishing for I don't even know three hours now, over three hours. So let's see. Oh, I think the fish is done. This trout is done. Oh yeah, there we go. I have a feeling this is going to be like a 1.5 kilogram trout. Didn't hit too hard. Oh, <laughs> 1.5 kilos and look at that, 3200 XP. Amazing, look, oh my god, yes. Yes. For such a long time, I didn't get a fish. And then I get all of a sudden. So that's how Balea is. Uh, it's not constant fishing. Sometimes you'll get constant fish. And most of the time it'll be dry. And then all of a sudden, you'll get a decent sized fish. Um, I think this is the most balanced spot if you're looking for, you know, that realism. There's dry moments and then there's good moments. It, I think it's a very nice balance. Uh, but for a game that is so freaking grindy, it's not worth it. Oh yes, another one. Uh, it's definitely not worth it. Uh, but I mean... I'm leveling up pretty nice. Like, you're almost three-fourth way through level 17 already, so... 800 gram trout. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we will we make good money here, but for a new player uh, Leveling uh, gives you a decent amount you get a decent amount of level. So oh We have something on our bottom feeders Let's see what this is better be a nice ice bream here again uh, One kilogram perhaps No 600 gram and man it takes so long to reel it in oh 
That's why our energy consumption is sky high. That's the feeling I get. I don't know if it's actually true. Um, like my hunger goes down so quickly. And uh, I mean, that's what the game says. Heavy, heavy lures and longer castings take a lot more energy to reel in. So that's a nice sized trout. I mean, bream. One kilo. Oh, yes. I'm getting good at this. Okay, guys, I will be right back. All right, guys, I am going to call it in. I have been fishing for a full three hours and 10 minutes. Um, I still have all my rods out. If I catch something big, I will attach it after this clip of me selling all the fish. If I catch another one. If I don't, then me selling this and showing you how much money we made will be the last part of this video. So let's go to the cafe. And the reason I want to come here quickly is because one of the order is about to expire soon. Uh, I think it's the bream order. Uh, I guess that order is already gone. They have a, but they had a perch order. I was just one perch short. Uh, 35 silver guys. Look at this. Uh, they want three pieces. Very nice beam, one kilo or more. That's very good, 35 silver. There we go. Uh, we don't have white beam, unfortunately. They want 800 gram. We did not catch a single roach because I didn't aim for it. It's not worth it, seven silver. It's gonna take me half hour to get five pieces probably. Well, actually not the way they're biting here. A five kilogram, no way, I haven't caught a single fish. Uh, if we go to our net, Three and a half hours. I went out for another, I think, t 20 minutes. I wasn't in game. Uh, so basically, our biggest fish in three hours and 10 minutes were these breams. Holy cow, guys. Three kilos, three kilos, 2.6, 2 pint, and grayling. And our brown trout, 1.88, is the biggest trout we could catch. Uh, markers, not a whole lot. Half the Fisher markers, I would say. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how much we made. 216 plus uh, 40, 256 silver in 180 minutes. Hundred eighty, two hundred minutes. Approximately in two hundred minutes, we made two hundred and what is it? Forty. Uh, this is forty silver. I I forget. <laughs> forty two hundred fifty six silver. There we go. Now uh, let's see. But oh my God, this grayling is thirty silver. Wow. Brown trout twenty five silver. Very nice. But look how sharp the drop is. 1.5 is 20 silver and under a kilo. Well, it's half the size, so I guess it's half the price. Uh, but uh, the most wow, the most expensive fish. <laughs> and just like that, we went from burbot to. Oh my god, I don't remember the last fish. Just yesterday, I think it was our salmon. I mean, I mean our trout, brown trout. Is our most expensive fish and today is our grayling and we are up almost uh to 1900 bucks we have almost paid for our brand new more much more better setup so guys uh i hope you enjoyed this episode the next episode we will be in kurai Ooh, yes till then guys enjoy